How do you do? I'm Christopher Lee. Are you feeling weary? Jaded, drained, tired, exhausted, depressed, all worn out, in need of a complete rest, perhaps? I know just the place. A quiet retreat in the south of France, where you will receive very special attention. Put yourself into the clutches and hands of my associates, Professor Feathers and Dr. Tarr. I was introduced to the system of Dr. Tarr and Professor Feathers by Edgar Allan Poe. Of course, some of the guests do have certain eccentricities, but we all dress for dinner though one does find the attire somewhat restricting. One thing about uh, the good doctor's guests, they're all crazy uh, to get out. I don't know how you can put up with me. Don't worry about that. There's a detour. I wonder where the road goes. You know perfectly well where it goes. To the asylum. Why do you pretend? Mr. Rossini, please. I won't come down. Please. I shall stay up. You might fall, Mr. Rossini. I shall not fall because the truth will give me wings that will support me in my distress. What shall I tell you? Can you not see that bread and spinach are too important to be left to the imagination of fools and charlatans? Hope and despair unite the poor in their misery. Give, give to the poor those who live their life in rubber boots and salad sandwiches. Have you no pity? Have you no shame? When shall the cucumber take its rightful place in society? When shall the radish hold up its head with pride? Mea culpa, mea culpa, mea maxima culpa. Sing a dirge for the public libraries. Are they not beyond civilized consideration? In the making millions of books written. Shame, oh shame. Here they are. Look, all of you, the librarians of my mind. Look at them, like orange ants around the sugar bowl. I shall not give in. You are all my witnesses, all of you. Do you hear me? The chief tormentor. Ah! Fouling the air with his filthy smoke. Oh, look at him, I say. But shield your eye. Come on down. I beg you, Orsini. You might fall and seriously hurt yourself. That's half of a kettle of pea soup if I had to. Every single time. I am a saint at large in the world of cruelty and unhappiness. Why do you turn away? My life of fear is an empty one. Can these few moments of liberty be so wicked? Have you no compassion? Mr. Rossini, let me come up there a moment. No. Maybe you'd like it. I want help. I might do that. I just want to rest my head. Hey, something happening below. Help, doctor, help me. Corner it. Protect somebody that's of value, you see. Doctor, don't you see? I am of value. Anyway, this is my tree, and you can't come up unless I invite you. Uh, let me go. I am the emperor. Yes, you, you all. Shall you shall me. all perish. Doctor, help me. I shall not give in. Turn it off. I do not surrender. This is my tree. I shall defend it to the death. Lackey of foulness. 
Tell me why you treat them like that. I think it's criminal the way you behave, I really do. Oh, please, that is most unfair. It really is me, sir. Lena. Miss Lena, for the mentally sick, the first thing is their welfare, especially in the case of many of the people placed in this way. And that's what's offered in my new system, a new devil system, to be quite exact. Let me show you, show you my system. It won't take a moment. That's it. You seem to be in a very tense state yourself. It will calm you. Please, this way. Perhaps I should explain my system. Its main aim is never to shatter the patient's delusions. We encourage them. We appear to believe in them. You could say we join in the game. But all the time we keep them under strict observation so we know the moment that they begin to tire of their fantasies, as of course they all do eventually. That's when we help them. And him? Ah, you mean Orsini. He's our most exacting problem. He's a special patient. Will you punish him? Mm. It might be decided by what was involved. If I were you, I wouldn't worry about it. A short course of tranquilizers and he'll be as right as rain again. You can be sure of that. Mm. Now, these patients, you'll be able to see at first hand my system at work. You see how completely relaxed they are. Mm. That's most important. Come with me. How are things going? Shh. Well, the foxes seem to have gone off, only they're supposed to be coming back sometime this morning. That must hamper your researchers. No, quite the contrary. You see, all my data is up to date. Do you want to see? Yeah. Ah. The fox belongs to this species dog. The fox is larger than most dogs, but sometimes it's much smaller. The fox has four legs unless it's been damaged and lost one by mistake. Then it has three, or sometimes even two and a half. Don't be afraid. Let me explain. It's only the patient showing the acute inversedal syndrome by which he is the viewer as well as the performer. The two of them both together. Make a note of her fashion. The patient's out as proposed. <laughs> oh, please, Paul, let's get back home. Excuse me, both of you. It's just that I forgot to give you my card. I mustn't let you drive off without it. And when you want to come back, I'll admit you straight away. No fuss, no formalities. See you soon, then. Goodbye. I'd rather be dead than in that place. Dead. Thank you. 
Good afternoon. Good afternoon. You came by yourself? Yes, Lena wouldn't come. That is most unfortunate. Hmm. Shall we uh, proceed? Remember the trouble you caused with those keys the last time you had them, letting those two gentlemen out of the padded room for an outing. Come along and sit down quietly. It'll soon be time for your tea. I believe there are crumpets today with strawberry jam. A case of acute amnesia combined with melancholic symptoms, a very noticeable absence of thought progression. Amnesia often affects the patient in this manner. I think you may catch cold, madam, if you take any more off. Oh, do you really think so? Usually I take everything I have off. There's so much time, you see. Bye-bye. You should understand that my present system is largely based on the self-help principle, where the patient is his own best physician. This applies to a surprisingly large number especially to those we are able to trust to help each other. That lady playing the piano, a most interesting case of compulsive paranoia. She has the habit of taking off all her clothes, and when naked, she's extremely violent. Uh, we had to teach her the way to behave without them. So we acted on it, you see. Did the scheme ever work? No. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, she broke the doctor's head open. system of leniency. That didn't work very well either, I'm afraid. And your new system? Excuse my curiosity, Doctor, but I have my reasons for asking. Well, I don't mind you being nosy about it. I've grown used to that sort of thing, and your particular reasons are really none of my business, I suppose. However, I can tell you our new system is really based on fundamental principles. We call it our improvement setup. And what's that? It's a sort of coming home. To life, don't you see? Mr. Tipkin, have I repeatedly not told you to stay on the other side of the house? Then why don't you do it and remain at the center, huh? By wondering, you confuse everyone. You really must try to do what you're told. But don't stand there. Huh. Come along, Mr. Tipkin. You really must not go where you're not meant to go. Photograph objects that I respect as a professor. Let me explain. Professional jealousy. A poor business. Appalling. Oh, it's the same. Yes. You smoke too many. Please, patience, silence. 
have an important man here today. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor to present Mr. Paul Bergen. He's a distinguished photographer and newspaper man. He's here to look into our wonderful new system. Go ahead, Bergen. I give you my full permission. Alas, poor Yorick, I knew him well. As he planned ah, to be ah, or not, come to be. Ah, that is the question. Well, well, that is not. Well, surprisingly, we found that all in all, a bit of play acting helps to give that little touch of reality in a situation where nothing is real. Oh, I'm out the way with you. Project it. Say it again. Say it. And make it good and loud. Come on, you insensitive fellow. Move. Oh, I'll move you, you torture you. Now, now, gentlemen, enough of that. Be calm. Be calm. You mustn't mind them. The play acting is keeping their minds on the move and making them think of other things than their own problems. It's all part of my system, Mr. Bergen. To get the sick mind to heal itself by not allowing it to stagnate. <sighs> Next, you will be turning up in my sleep. Oh. Morphine will help that. Morphine, come along. Please excuse us if the waiting is very long. Maybe it's my father who's to blame. It could be that he'd like you to join us on my birthdays. I'm perfectly sensitive of the making of the fact and the reasons for keeping me away from the piano. However, you can help me to convince my father to let me play. You're upsetting the patient. No more. No more? Come along. Mustn't be naughty. Am I too depraved without clothes? The skirts, I mean. I'm frigid, you see. Mm -hmm. That'll explain why I wore this. It's foolish, and as for trying, I like the men to see what they're missing. <laughs> I know a place above the veranda. We could go there and play such lovely games. Even better, we go to the swimming pool. It's fun there. <laughs> you like that? Yes. Oh, we are going to have a lovely time. Come on, let me help you off with your shirt. It'll get in the way. I'll leave your arms in it. That way you'll be my prisoner. Lie down. Am I too heavy for you? Or do you like it? I haven't played games since February. Please stay as you are. I'm just beginning to play this game. You'll see. I'm very good at playing. intelligent. Please. We use Benny in our researches. I'm afraid he's suffered. But not too much. He's the sanest person in the whole place. He's become quite a friend of mine. You really must go immediately. You absolutely must leave this place at once. 
There's no danger. I hope you make a friend of Benny. He's a bad enemy. Goodbye. Bring in the patient. Please inject him. No, no, hold it a minute. You're making an awful error. You know me, doctor. I'm not a patient. That's not so. You've been mocking at my methods. Proceed at once. Oh. an unhappy business. It could be most awkward for us holding an unsatisfied person as a patient. We'll have to do something about that. <coughs> she mustn't leave here. Certainly not. She will have to have some treatment. I shall leave that to you. Huh. Good afternoon, Miss Lena. I'm afraid I have some unpleasant news for you. Paul is most unwell. I'm afraid you can't see him. But let me look. I don't expect he'd say no. He can't say anything or do anything. Total relapse. Not much hope, Miss Lena, I'm afraid. Come, I'd better take you to him. So all of us have to do something crazy from time to time to keep ourselves from going mad. Yeah. 